Hey everybody, Soybean Farmer. I'm sitting out here in the platform auger. <laughs> and that's one of the ones right there that's concerning me. Now, look at this one and see how that hole stops right about there. Now look at this one and see how much more that hole has been beat over. They stopped making these metal pieces out of good metal. They make them out of junk now. So they don't last very long when you lose the little rubber piece that's inside. But I went and bought 12 of these. That's the rubber plastic thing that goes inside. And I went and bought 12 more of these. And right now I'm just going to replace the ones that are messing with me. And I got these will be on the shelf and I can replace them later. But that right there is getting to the point when the retracting finger retracts, it good possibility it could drop down below here and cause you some major grief. All right, they use these. Okay, I'm gonna try to let you watch me get this out. They use what's called a star in here and I just hope that this don't round out. That turned. That's good. All right, that was turning. Let's see if I can turn this one. Because they strip out in there, it's a real booger bear. And that turned. Okay, this is just going to be an easy swap out. They didn't strip out. I could turn them. Give me a little leverage here with that. Yay, thank you, Jesus. First time I went to replace these, <clears throat> every one of these things was rounded out, and I had to take my grinder and cut a flat side here and a flat side here, and then get vice grips on it, and you could turn it about a half a turn. And uh, that was not fun. I did not enjoy that. But these are turning. And I'm going to be able to get them out. And I'm happy about that. Alright, this is just a bunch of turning this. I'll be back in a minute. <clears throat> a little bit of a fight to get that apart. But I uh, got it off. And just as I suspected, the, the rubber black plastic thing is totally gone. Um remnants of it probably fell down inside of there but uh it ain't here no more so and this one's bent the the uh auger drum got a dent in it right here somewhere in past years i don't know when it happened but if i don't pre kind of pre-bend this i don't know let's see what happens here now that goes like that, slip it down on that, and goes in the hole like that, and then that goes like that. And if it don't get clamped back down tight, I bought some new uh, of these screws. I think I'm going to get them and use them so I can get this in there like it's supposed to be. I'll be right back. All right, that gives you a comparison between a new one right there and the one that's all wore out. You can see the elongation I was talking about. And I took this one and bent it just a little bit. Let's see, looks like that. Yeah, because I think I didn't bend it enough, but I bent it a little bit so it'll better fit what I got to work with down here. <clears throat> all right, let's put... A little dab of this stuff on there. WD-40. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah, blow that away now. Come on, Mr. Wynn. You get involved with everything, too. These threads right here on this one 
We're a little bit tight getting that other one out. So I want to get, yeah, there we go. That starts good like that. Good old WD-40 will do that for you. All right, let's put a little dab on the other one. All right. Let's see, where are you at? There you are. There, that's probably enough. This one's a little tricky because it's leaning. There. All right, that gets them started. Take them back out. Yeah, be real careful not to drop it in a hole. <laughs> that. Alright, put that on there. Put that in there. And then this one's gonna be tricky. That in there. Like that. Okay. Pull that one down first, good and tight. <clears throat> you know, when you got an old machine like this. If you just stay on top of maintaining it, stuff gets worn out, replace it, and you can keep your machine running. People have asked me, you know, you're going to get a new combine. Well, the simple answer to that is no. I'm 62 years old, and I'm not interested in taking on a bunch of debt at this stage of my life. If I was 42 years old and having as much fun with this farming thing as I am now, then maybe, you know, but it's always been in my mindset, if what I got is working and doing the job, then be happy with it. Don't be constantly looking at what somebody else has got, because uh, that don't do nothing for you and that's any good. It causes you a lot of problems to do that. Yeah, that's gonna be fine, that's gonna go right in there. Alright, that tight. <clears throat> satisfied with that one, not satisfied with that one. <clears throat> Wrench jumped out before it got tight like I wanted it. See, still turns. Go one more time maybe. Still turns. It's pulling that bend down in there, matching that hole is what it's doing. There. That ought to hold it. Whew. Yep. That was interesting. Well, that's repaired. Next one's over here. It's in bad shape. Go ahead and get that one. Well, this is just a little short video showing you what's going on here with these things. And uh, everybody, thanks for watching. It was uh, rained here this morning, so won't no bean picking going on. But we'll get back to it, let things dry out a little bit. Bye, y'all.